Six on food, four on wood, lure boar, build mill. This is the basic foundation of every build order in Age of Empires 2. With minor tweaks, it can fit any strategy. And with intuition and experience, you can kind of figure everything else out from here. Complicated and specific and demanding build orders are often the biggest hurdle new players face when they transition from casually playing against the AI to fighting real opponents. The idea that you have to go outside the game, learn all of this from some nerd on the internet, and practice it in-game before you even have a chance online is daunting, it's frustrating, it sounds unfun, and makes you wonder why you would even bother. I've been there. I was the kid online struggling to reach feudal as knights trampled my poor stone miners. And it's only because I pushed myself to learn a build order that I found out it's not hard. It's not complicated. It's okay to mess up. It turned out to be the most fun way to play Age of Empires. And it started with that simple mantra. Six on food, four on wood, lure boar, build mill. In the game of chess, good players study common openings, and they can recognize most early moves and counter moves. In fighting games, good players learn intricate attack combos in practice mode, then execute them in real matches when they see an opening. Build orders are kind of like the opening moves or economic combos of Age of Empires. Each of these fundamental techniques does require solitary, repetitive practice. But with a little time investment, they all exist to make a competitive game smoother and easier for players. Managing your economy in Age of Empires 2 is a really complicated puzzle that's easy to get wrong. Later in the game, as your opponent attacks you and you're forced to respond, there are no easy answers, no surefire solutions to that puzzle. In most cases, it depends. That is the hard, exciting strategy of this game. And few things feel better than outsmarting your opponent with a surprise tech switch or a sneaky distraction. To get to that awesome puzzle though, you have to get through the mostly solo puzzle of well, how do you start in Dark Age? But hold on, because that puzzle has already been solved for you. Dedicated players have worked on this puzzle for over 20 years. Unlike strategy later in the game, in the Dark Age, it doesn't depend. Some things are always correct. Always make villagers, always make houses, get six on food to keep making villagers, get a lumber camp, focus on food, get loom. While rare edge cases do exist, certain things are correct basically every time. You could have figured this out for yourself, sure, but it would have been a long and tedious process. Just like school kids get a head start in math by not having to discover the Pythagorean theorem by themselves, in AoE 2 you can skip the part where you figure out that you shouldn't mine stone in the Dark Age. Okay, so a build order exists to make our lives easier. But why, then, is it so frustrating to learn? Trying to match a feudal age time or measure up to the scoring of a tutorial feels impossible. This is normal, trust me. I certainly blew it the first several times I tried to follow a build order. Your brain will feel overwhelmed by everything you're keeping track of, but you're not stupid. Mastering a build order is committing basic actions to muscle memory and the intuitive automatic part of your brain. At the beginning, you're gonna be using the analytical, hard-thinking part of your brain, which consumes way more of your focus and energy. But with practice, you'll rely on it less and less, and you can focus that hard-thinking brain on the map or the matchup or your strategy. And the awesome part is that build order skills are transferable. Practicing any build order makes you better at all build orders. You shouldn't expect to be perfect, though. Players who are above average online still frequently idle their town centers, hit their population limit, or spend resources that they shouldn't. I mean, even pros mess up their build order sometimes. Oh, I'm trapped in my own wall. Oh, I've been idle for so long, that was terrible. <laughs> getting out to the woods so I can get my dock early. <laughs> yeah, this is called efficiency. Oh, shit, I'm housed. See? Monday, the 
I, I, I'm pushing the pig. I swear to god, 1900 level is so bad, like, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, no, I guess he can get it back to the TC in time. Nice. Okay, so it's efficient, and it's helpful, but why would learning a build order be fun? Doesn't this still sound like homework? Well, maybe, in the same way that shooting hoops by yourself is homework, or practicing guitar is homework. Working on your build orders is a solo activity that builds skill in something I'm passionate about. And like a good workout, some days I look forward to it. If I'm not feeling up for the intensity of Ranked, I can grab a tea, throw on a podcast or music, and just reset Arabia against the AI, mellowing out and building skill. And then, when I hop back online, I'm more confident and in control of my economy. I could spend my time focusing on the hard, satisfying puzzle of how to beat my opponent. I know I'm not perfect, and I'll mess up sometimes, but I've practiced recovering from that, or adapting around it. When I lose, it's for more interesting reasons than they knew how to go up ages faster. I know that last one doesn't sound like an upside, but it really is motivating for me. With experience, build orders look less like robotic instructions for how to play perfectly, and more like flexible tools to solve problems. Choosing a build order is a powerful decision, like picking your civilization is, but it's one that can pivot or change as the game goes on. You're in control of the build order the whole time, and you always have the power to turn what was a scout rush into a fast castle, or vice versa, completely changing how the game plays out. I mean, that's like being able to change your deck or your character in the middle of a game. That's insane. No other competitive game gives me that kind of power and freedom, and that's why I love build orders. The, uh original title of this video was going to be Dr. Age Love, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Build Order. So, you know, that that's a thing. <laughs>